Fortnite OG is here for a four-week special season, but things are going to be changing fast, so I'm here to make sure that you don't fall behind. I've got secrets you need to know about, collaborations that will soon be coming to the game, and details on everything that will be coming to the game throughout the next few weeks. We've all jumped into this OG season in Chapter 1, Season 5. That's what the map is currently based off, but we'll only be on this version of the map for one more week, because on Thursday, November the 9th, we'll be swapping into Chapter 1, Season 6. This will include the return of a double barrel shotgun, the six shooter pistol, and items returning like the porter fortress and clingers. Traps are now back in the game, and for season six, we'll be getting the chiller trap and also the super overpowered mounted turret. Even more vehicles will be coming to the game, not needing any fuel, I'll be happy to let you know, including the quad crasher and driftboard. But by far the coolest thing is that we're going to be experiencing mini live events throughout the next four weeks, events that happened in the past in chapter one, that will be relived again during these coming weeks. The first one will actually be the addition of Kevin the Cube. We'll be coming to the island over the next week where he spawned in the desert biome and rolled his way around the island, eventually ending up in Loot Lake. This will happen over the next week leading up to the start of Season 6 where Kevin the Cube will go into the lake, lift up the house in the center of Loot Lake, resulting in one of the big first map changes. And as soon as Kevin arrives, you know I'll be covering it here on the channel. In Week 2, we'll be jumping into Chapter 1, Season 6 seven and eight combined in together. But before we jump into that, some secrets to share around the island. One of them is that Tilted Towers isn't quite right. The infamous tall tower building that used to be sat in Tilted has not been put in the game. Instead, the No Sweat Insurance building has been put in there in its place. If we go all the way over to the desert biome, the big rock bridge that connected two of the massive mountains together is also not there, which is going to be an interesting one because that's where Kevin the Cube spawned in. So I'm not sure how he's going to roll off the mountains if the bridge doesn't exist. One of the most infamous secrets of the chapter one season was the bunker hidden in Wailing Woods. You used to be able to look in and see some sort of layer underneath, but it's now been changed to be completely pitch black and will maybe contain an even bigger secret that will be revealed later on in this OG season. I've got even more secrets and some cool collabs to share, but let's jump back into the next week where we'll be seeing chapter one season seven and eight on Thursday, November the 16th. This will be one of the coolest map updates as the ice biome will be added back into the game. However, it won't be added in the same way that it was originally in chapter one because this time both greasy grove and flush factory will actually survive the ice biome won't extend quite as far into the map. This will bring back the POI Frosty Flight, and along with it, the planes will be on the island as well. But Polar Peaks and Happy Hamlets will not return. It's believed Polar Peaks will be far too tall to scale and get around with the now available zero builds mode on the OG map. And Happy Hamlet originally overlaid Flush Factory. And since Flush Factory is going to stay, Happy Hamlet isn't returning. And although that week's update will combine season seven and eight, we unfortunately won't be getting the volcano POI or the jungle POI. Instead, we'll only see small pirate huts added around the island. But do not worry, as we'll be getting the quad launcher, the flint knot pistol, the minigun, all fan favorite weapons, and also glider redeploy. That's right, this was actually a item back in chapter one, where if you held it, you could jump off of anywhere and that gives you the ability to redeploy your glider. Treasure maps, which lead you to incredible legendary loot, and the returning trap, the poison darts, which was pretty terrible, I can't lie. We've already covered the planes returning, and also the pirate cannons will be available to use as well. Now, everything so far we've talked about is just things officially confirmed by Fortnite. However, leakers have gone into the in-game files and seen that the guided missile launcher has been updated and is ready to put back in the game. This weapon hasn't been seen in Fortnite for over 2,000 days. It was literally a rocket launcher that you could control. So the hype for this item returning is going to be massive. Following on from that, we will get the final weekly update, which will include a merge of Chapter 1 Season 9 and the final season in Chapter 1 Season X. But I promised you a look at some future skins coming out and some huge collabs as Fortnite will actually be working with, yet again, Stranger Things. This new collaboration will include the character Eleven from the Netflix show Stranger Things with multiple different styles for her skin. She'll have an awesome back bling, which is actually Hopper's Cabin Diorama from the show you may remember her making. The Waffle Extravaganza back bling because she loves loves those waffles. Steve's bat, Eddie's spear pickaxe, and also telekinesis power emotes. And the crazy thing is, alongside this, we are expected to see the Chief Hopper and Demogorgon outfits that haven't been seen in the item shop for over 1,500 days. People thought these would never return back to the game, and it is the best time to go ahead and just spend a second clicking support to create in the bottom right of the item shop 
Swapping my code in Ali8 is the best way to support me if you're excited for these skins to return. It won't be the only new skins, though, as there's going to be an infinite drift pack, which includes skins that emerge between Drift and Skull Trooper, Drift and the Strider skin, and then Fish Sticks and Drift as well. More mashup skins will be available over the next few weeks, including Aurora and Rex, Bright Gunner and Rex, and these are just the skins that will be out over the next few weeks. Even more will be coming. Now, the most important update to pay attention to will be the final one, Season 9 and X, where we will be finishing the OG season that we're in and leading into an incredible live event that will take us then into chapter five. Before I explain how it's going to happen, this final update will happen on Thursday, the 23rd of November, and the meteor will return frozen above the island just like it was in season X. Dusty Divot won't change and will stay as it is. And despite season nine being rolled into this update, we won't actually see any of the season nine notifications, so we won't see Neo Tilted, Mega Ball, or Pressure Plant coming back. And honestly, I wasn't that keen on any of those locations, so I'm not too sad about that. But one of the big things leading up to this live event is that the rocket launcher will start to be built at Dusty Divot. This construction was a construction that was done at the end of Chapter 1 Season X. It was used to launch the rocket, but essentially brought down the meteor into the island towards a zero point, causing a huge explosion and then led into a huge black hole. However, it's going to happen a little differently this time. Yes, the rocket will be rebuilt and its launch pad will be rebuilt in the same spot, but this time it will be a little bit different. Before I explain that, there's still loads more things that will be coming along with this week's update, including the heavy sniper, which will deal over 300 damage to the head. I can't wait to use that. The proximity grenade launcher, pretty spammy and annoying to be fair. And the return of the airstrike, kind of useless. Junk Rift, also not great. Storm Flip, also questionable. And the jetpack, yay, we get to fly around the map. And one of the most OP vehicles ever in Fortnite, the Baller, which also won't have any battery or fuel levels, so you can zip around as much as you want. And despite it not being official by Epic yet, it looks like the Brute Mechs will be returning that week as well, as they've also been updated, brought back Back into the in-game files, and oh my god. As much as I'm looking forward to this end of season live event, I am not looking forward to the mechs, especially in no builds mode. Please don't put them in there. Now, before I explain how this mini season will end, a little bonus secret for you guys as well. There's actually some hidden secret quests that you can complete, 10 in total, where there are different gnome locations around the island. Finding each of these gnomes will give you 10,000 XP. For a collective of 200,000 XP to rank up your battle pass before the season ends. They aren't mentioned in the quest tab anywhere, so you've got to find them yourself. If I found any so far, I'll chuck them up on screen so you guys can go over and take advantage of the XP. But as I was saying about the end of this season, we will have a timer counting down to this live event at Dusty Divot. We'll have a timer in the in-game lobby counting down to this live event. And this rocket will be different because this time it will have the time machine attached to it. The very time machine that took us from the end of chapter four into this OG season. The one that Kato was using to bounce around between all the different Fortnite seasons. And with this time machine strapped to the rocket, it could take us anywhere in Fortnite's history. Pretty sure we're going to go miles into the future to something we've obviously never seen before to lead us into whatever chapter five will end up being. But before I get too carried away, there's so much will be happening over the next few weeks. All the updates and everything new will be covered here first. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And again, the best way to support me is to pop code Ali8 into the item shop and click on screen here to see even more Fortnite OG action. So much content coming over the next few weeks. I hope you're as excited as I am.